Okie dokie. Well, I'm going to make this vlog for for a few specific people. Oh, well, okay, let's not say people. Let's say a group of people. Um, no, not being racist, so relax. Um, it's just covering a few topics that I've heard over the past couple months of, you know, dealing with love, you know, drama in life, you know, life's tough. Let's just put it, life's an uphill battle. Like, it takes, it's dependent on different people and what their life's going through. But, I mean, I can't really say that I've been through everything because, you know, I'm one person and I can experience life a completely different way than what you can. But it's the fact that I, I, I know of the hardships in life. I know what it can... I know what it can throw at you, what it can do, and just some of the just random stuff that it can throw at you, and it, it just, it hits you when you're down, and that's the key word, when you're down. I know I, some people are probably thinking, well, you know, when life gets you down, you gotta, there's things you can do. Sometimes you get, you get to a point where it's hard to get up. Where it's hard to look at life positively. And where it can just wear on you. And like it, you just get in a deep rut. And you just don't want to do anything with your life. That's one place I've been. Uh, and I. And it looks like you're on the. Just metaphorically looks like you're at the bottom of a well. With no way to get up. And you just seem like everything's lost. But with that being said, there's, I guess, a few things you could do. I mean, like it, it could be as simple as getting out of the house, doing something new. I mean, it, it doesn't seem like much, but let's 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 say you're you've been married for five years or more all right fuck it let's just say 10 years you were madly in love with her like you know she just like took your heart and y'all were perfect for one another and she left you and you've spent the last five six months just working and being home now, and your home reminds you of her and all the things that you've done. I know, it like the just little things, a little amount of something different can completely change your day or your week or month or year. I I, I kind of learned something from one of from my last job. A little bit can go a long way. Not just, you know, not like, you know, oh, a little bit of this in my food or a little bit of just, just this pill once. Honestly, to get up out of depression, you don't need any sort of medication or anything like that. The only thing you need is the desire to. If you want to get out of it, you can do it. And, well, like, okay, that's kind of where I'm, how I got out of depression, it's different, I happen to have someone, <laughs> not really someone, but, let's say a puppy came into my life, best thing in the world, she was loved her she passed away recently but she still lives on up here and in here uh, whatever side the heart's on in this general area she lives in <laughs> but she was a she was a husky wolf mix most beautiful dog i've ever seen scared the hell out of me the first time i met her vicious little thing she didn't know me but that later that night 
I was at a new I was at a new friend of mine's house. We became best of friends, and she took me up out of that hole, and she dragged me for miles. That was the thing that got me out of it. And that was just a little thing. It wasn't like I went out and spent thousands of dollars to go on a cruise or anything like that. It was just a little... It was a being. It was... It, it was a little ball of fur. She was about this big when I met her. I knew her for about five months before she got big. All of a sudden, she was tackling me. Every time I came over, every time I'd be on the street, walk or down his street, she would tackle me and have me on the ground. And she would just, no matter how bad my day was going, she would make it better. But now let's get back on subject. Just, I know life can get you down. Life can be hard. Just take a little something. It doesn't matter what it is. Just, it's a tiny something. It, it could be, you, I don't know, it could be you helping somebody. It could make you feel better. Or just start that roll, start the stone rolling. Because, do you know... In, all right, Indiana Jones. You know that little statue he takes off there and replaces with the sand? You know how that little sandbag? There's sand in there. Was not exactly weighed. So the little thing sunk down and the big stone started rolling. The little, just something so little as a grain of sand can change your day. Change your month. Change your life. It's just you got to... You got to get up. You got to do something. Get out of the routine you're in. That's where we fall. Is we fall into a routine. Called the circle. You don't want to do that. If you're depressed. I'm not saying go out to a club. Get drunk. Make a mistake. It's not what I'm saying. I hold no. Nothing to what you do. And... Just get out, do something. Try something new. You want to go skydiving? Try it. You want to you wanna go to a rock climbing wall? Do it. You want to, I don't know, play paintball? Do it. You're, you're going to get bruised though. So, But you want to you wanna get up out of your hole? Go out and do something. Don't do something y'all, like if it's, if it's a person, don't do what y'all would do together. Or something that would remind you of her. Just do something new. Completely something you would never do before. That will start it. And keep that up. Be proactive. Get out. Work out. Do something. I don't run run around your neighborhood. And you never know. It's like right now my my life's in a small rut, but state of mind up here is what's keeping me up here. But then there then there's an, another subject I want to cover. Is it seems like I I know quite a bit of young people through my through a family member, and this family member of mine. I love him. He's his family. I, I mean, he he used to annoy the hell out of me, and I wanted to beat his behind so bad. You know, and you know exactly who I, who you are too. If you watch this, you know exactly who you are, and you know I'm talking about you. He's a he's a good guy. Just needs to chill out on some things. I'm not gonna say anything that he does but you just need to chill out on some of that it's not worth it and you're wanting attention no you've got attention you need to know that but I said before about depression it's also towards you you young man need to stop 
Get your life together first. Get a job. I don't care if it's working at the shoe factory or paper presser or shoe polisher or whatever. Find a job. Save some money. Start your life. Then worry about what it is that's causing you grief. Because right now you're not going to find it. Definitely not going to. I was lucky. I was extremely lucky with what I, with who I found. Head on straight, knows what she's doing, and knows what she wants. That's what you need to look for. You need to look for someone who's going to help you, who won't hold you back, who's, who's self-sufficient. Just because they're self-sufficient doesn't mean that they have to live by themselves. They can if they choose. But you need to have that sustainability yourself before you can go after someone else. Because without self-sustainability, relationships are not going to work. I know that for a fact. I'm not self-sufficient right now. That's the reason why I'm stuck with my dad. I love my dad. I really want to get the fuck out of here. I know he wants to... Can, he, I know he wants it. Not because, you know, you're 18, get the fuck out of my house. It's just, I, I spent from 18 to 20, part of my, uh, part of my 21st, part of my 21st birthday, or me being 21, first part of it, I kind of was like, fuck it, I don't care. And then I got a reality check. It didn't come to me really hard up until about 20 one couple months after my birthday then reality punched me in the stomach it's like i know y'all are probably have if y'all haven't watched to this point i understand but those who need to watch it i hope y'all have but it's the fact like you can't you can't rely on other people to support you that you've got to be self-supporting I'm pre like I'm saying it and I'm not, but I'm trying. Air Force. I think next week or the week after, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna put my. I, I know that just sounds like oh you're not gonna do it, but it depends on whenever I got whenever my dad has time to take me because I have no car because I have had no steady job, but I just want you to know, man. I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna flatly put it stop chasing pussy. You need to chase money. Don't get the pussy that comes with the money because they're in it for the money. You need to find someone your age or a little bit older. Who's not in it for the money, but who's in it for you? And you alone. One who's not afraid to work, who's not afraid to support, and who's not afraid to help. I really, really do love you, bro. But tighten your shit. If you don't, you're not gonna like what's gonna happen, and it ain't gonna be for me. Life's gonna throw something at you. It's going to fuck your life up. It's not something you want. Go into the armed forces. Fuck. Go into the military. I'm not talking about the reserve. I'm talking about straight up Air Force. Talk to a recruiter. Go in. Stay in for five, six years. It'll change you. Right now, like... Going from 18... To 21, I'm more reserved than what I used to be. I'm more of a, I think more. I'm more of a person who s tries to look forward in what I do. Not what's going on here, but what's going on ahead. What my actions will do to me in the future. But, I just want you to know, like, Bro, 
and just anyone for that matter. If you're 18, you know, between the age, oh, fuck it, between the ages of 14 and 21, start getting like, okay, never mind, not 14. Let's just say 16, because you're kind of getting towards the end of your school. Look, start planning then. Start planning. Start getting an idea in your head at 16. Start then. It's easier and make sh and by the time it happens, you'll be sure if you really want to do it or not. Just do it. Get the idea. See if you like it. Research it. Everything. Do whatever. Just try to set your life up. You th you think YOLO swag? That's not gonna pay the bills. You think oh I'm. I'm going to be able to do this. I'm going to have a man or woman to support me or my parents. You're... No. No. Never. <sighs> that brings me to my last one. This one's going to be a bit shorter. If I can remember it. Oh, this one is actually toward, to my family, to those who want to watch. I love all y'all. I do. I know I made that sound like there's a butt after that. My bad. I love all y'all. Really, really do. I miss all y'all. Rarely, rarely haven't seen some of my family members in six to eight years. I miss every single one of y'all. I miss a lot of people, actually. If I start to get emotional, don't worry. It's because, yeah. Stuff behind, not behind me, like this post. Yeah, this poster, that light switch, this open door, which I keep on seeing a figure walk by. <laughs> okay, now. And then it opens. I'd, I'd run. <laughs> that way. Yeah, it's my windows over there. But, um, yeah, so, like, Mom, I love you. Sis, bro, bro too. <laughs> bro too both my bros both of me younger than me I love you I love all of you I miss you and I do plan on seeing you but as I said gotta get this to come see you cause I'm not I can't mooch but once I get some things settled out I'll I'll come see you and to everyone to, to, to anyone who watches this, I, I, I want you to know, life does get better. Not in every aspect, but it's what you make it. Don't sit there and wait for life to throw something at you. It will never come. It, there's no such thing as luck. He was lucky to win the lottery, or he was lucky this happened to him, or somebody found him. If you want your dream to be achieved, you have to work for it. You have to work for it. Just saying, I'm a good singer, and then just singing in your bathroom or something is not gonna do it. You gotta put video. You gotta videotape yourself, kind of like I'm doing here. I mean, it's not that hard. Go out and buy a seventy dollar camera if you can get the money. Self record, fucking. Ah, blah, 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 whatever. Let's say you're. Let's say you want to sing. Sing. You know what? Something. If you're a writer, that's a bit harder. If you're a writer, you gotta contact some people. Look for publishers, stuff like that. Be careful who you sign with or who you know you allow to publish your stuff, because they need to get less than 25% or none at all. But that's all I have time for. It's been rambling on for about 20 minutes but i hope some of this was insightful to y'all i'm gonna try to put more of this up as i go along and 
keep in mind it gets better I promise life life kicked me when life knocks you down think of this how hard am I gonna hit it back once I come up because the harder you hit it the more you'll feel better and the more you'll move forward and another one life's like a bow it'll pull you back to a certain point but it has to release just keep on aiming y'all have a wonderful day and stay tuned for more